you have those moments that just stick out in your mind? Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor. But that didn't take. I can still hear him. You know, this, this just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. It's probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Without you, I'd be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey! We just passed mile marker 32! So, the ad said that just after the mile marker, there'd be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? I'm tired of people thinking we can't cut it. Noodle, huh? <laughs> I can see that. I said running alone wasn't enough for you. You were looking for some kind of challenge and a musher who would listen to you too. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, so uh, having some help out there might be nice. Are you ready for the retired life? Or are you just waiting for someone to believe in you again? Just know that I still have to make the calls and try to do what's best for us. Will that work for you? Let's hop in the van. I'll introduce you to Chomper. Well, welcome to the van. This is Chomper. He's a city pup, but he's ready to get out there and learn how to become a sled dog. Sounds like you weren't too big a fan of indecision last time you raced. And that I should trust you when I'm not sure what's best. Well, I'm more than willing to defer to you if your instincts are sharp. I trust that you're a smart pup, Noodle. And I need help with more than running. But you can't just lay down in the middle of the trail, okay? We've got a new life to start. And once we're home, I'll build you a nice little den with a perfect nap zone. How's that sound? All right, you're right. Rest up. We've got plenty of running ahead of us. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. Hey, girl. Are you Finn? Quite the uh, collection you've gathered here. Are these all things you found? They said you're pretty good with your nose. You tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes that led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. <laughs> your owners got tired of skunks, huh? Well... I don't really know my way out there. We might need some help to find more than just the trail. And while you might not be the best at running, it'd be great to have some help to know what to do. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. It's probably important that I try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> okay, then. Seems like we could use a smart dog with a nose for the trail on our team. We'd love to have you, Finn. Hey, team. I'd like to introduce you all to Finn. Finn comes to us 
well, from the Alaskan bush, just like many of you do, except for you, Chopper. So Finn, you like collecting things, huh? Chopper's the same. Every morning I wake up and he's piled all my shoes in my bed and is using them as a pillow. It's probably not quite the same. Your family said you'd never come back in from walks. You're always yearning to discover more out there. But you had a tendency to not know when you should stop and take a break. You just push and find yourself too tired to get back easily. That sounds like we'll have the right kind of adventures then. We're gonna keep going and rest along the way to, well, wherever. And it sounds like you feel the same. Jumper, you approve? We're happy to have you, Finn. Oh, you're right. <laughs> We're nearly at the next stop. Thanks. Y you mind if I give you a pet? Okay, well, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll get to a pet eventually, but I will accept a cautious sniff. Hey, Chomper, you have to take it slow too, okay? She's not ready for you, your lack of personal boundaries. I'm not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills or just because I can't pass up a pup, but I am very excited about this team we've put together. We have six stops to go and we only need to adopt two more dogs. Uh, did you move your house here? I don't have any snacks, Bodega. Why didn't I bring snacks? They said he's been eating them out of house and home. Well, yeah, I think he'll be a great addition to the team. Okay, I know I barely have enough food for all of us, but that's part of the adventure, right? We're gonna find our food. We're gonna live off the land. Just imagine it. With food spilling over the sides. We'll show everyone we can handle this in the long winter ahead. And now that we've got you, I have no doubt we can carry it all home. We only have to worry about ourselves out here. A big reset button for all of us. We get to start something new. Become someone new. I feel like I'll like Wilderness Me. She believes in herself. At least, she does right now. And I believe in you, Bodega. That's why you're part of the team. This is going so well. well. We've adopted every pup we've met so far, and we have five more stops to find our final team member. You look like a force to be reckoned with. Gale, is it? I don't think you'll be needing much motivation. You might need more than a nudge in the right direction, but looks like you'll set your sights on a destination and get there. I'll probably have to make sure you take some time to rest so we can keep this energy up. Well, you really want that window open. Do you always need the wind in your fur? Yeah, it can be hard to be cooped up. Did you know you're about to venture into the vast expanse of the Alaskan wilderness? Yeah, who knows what's out there. Snow, for sure. And plenty of running. But I'm sure we'll be surprised by what we find. That's what adventure's all about. Do you think you're ready for that, girl? <laughs> I can't wait to just let you loose and pull us along. It's easy to tell that's your true calling. Get you in your element. Never let that wind leave your fur. I think I fell in love with every dog I met. I mean... Who could pass up a dog that's ready for a new home? A new adventure? I can't believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. believe we made it to Alaska Chomper. Margot said to travel to the end of the road and then hop on the sled and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. It's uh, not 
as helpful as I'd like. But it'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. So, you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. You ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Gale, Finn, Bodega, Noodle, and the sled is all ready to go. Well, we've packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're gonna have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Two pieces of raw meat. Well, you pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail, but I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. Hypothermia is not something I'm really looking to try. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets, just in case. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. Oh, and most importantly, we've got one med pack. I should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Okay, well, I guess we should start. What do they say again? Uh, let's go. Now here, we don't say left and right. We use ha for left and g for right. So, let's go. G! Trigger. I missed? I shot right at it! Right. I was warned this gun was a little off. God, I'm gonna miss that bullet. And my dinner. Hopefully I can fix this gun up somehow. Thanks for waiting, pups. Okay, at least we've got two bullets. Let's go, Chopper. Would you look at that? Oh, let's leave him alone. Hmm. Let's go. Gee! Rabbit's supposed to be a delicacy. What do you think, pups? Okay, we should be able to make this shot, I think. We might just survive out here. You'll make for a good meal. That was a good diversion. Another meal ready to go. We're on to 
for our last bullet. At least we've already got some food. Ready to go? Should we camp? We uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Be nice. Oh, I can't wait to feel the warmth on my face. Food time. Chow down, pups. Might be time to get some rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning, but the dogs will be energized. Well, should we go to sleep? All right, everyone feeling better? We don't have anything to make a fire. Take this mitten off, but I fear frostbite. I love you, buddy. We don't have anything to make a fire. Time. Chow down, pups. We don't have anything to make a fire. Back on the trail? Let's be safe out there. Did you really have to run away after I hit you? But... I'm here to finish what I started. And if I find you again... I'm back. So no bullets. This might be tough. Let's get back out there. Let's set up camp as soon as we can. Let's rest. Take a break, pups. We don't have anything to make a fire.
Back on the trail? Maybe we should eat. Get back on the trail? Let's be safe out there. Are you trying to bring it closer or keep it away? How close do you think that wolf is? <laughs> okay, okay. Um... You brought us out here, Noodle. I hope that wolf makes it. Hey, pups. Let's go, Chomper. I'm, um, I'm feeling a little weak, pups. It's getting dark, right? I'll just rest my eyes. Keep on running, pups. At least I have an idea of what could happen to me out there. Oh, God. Yeah, we, uh, we really need to take care of ourselves out there. We've got a lot of stomachs to think about. I can't take care of you if I don't have the strength to keep my eyes open. We have to plan ahead. Are we ready for this? It's okay. They were just nightmares. It's not gonna happen to us. say Where did she say this cabin is again? Let's go find our new home. Uh, mush on! Fork in the road. Where to? Got a chance at a meal, pups. Stay 
Stay quiet. Just be calm. You've got this. Oh god, I only injured it. Um, one more should do the trick, as long as I don't miss. You can't leave it injured. You can do this. That's what we needed. I'll collect what I can and get back to the sled. Hey, pups. We've got some more meat. Okay, at least we've got two bullets. Ready to go? Noodle? Should I be scared? What is that? This shot should be a gimme. Sheesh, you're smaller than I thought. Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. Another meal ready to go. We've got one bullet left. At least we've already got some food. I think we're done here. Let's go. I guess I'm gonna have to get used to getting all the parts I never wanted to. Who would have thought I'd expand my power down here? Well, besides the meat, or the side of meat. And a moose boo should meet. But we'll eat what we can get, right? And while I don't think I'll ever get used to killing my own food, I can do my best to make sure I make the most of each animal. Hmm. Let's go... Finn, what do you smell, girl? Is there something worth checking out up there? Another time, Finn. Gail, slow down. There's something up there. I think we should... Wow. Okay, Gail, uh, I'm not even sure we should be messing with porcupines. Huh? See? They have a worse business end than skunks. I don't want to mess with that. Oh, Gail, I tried to warn you. Hold still, I got you. You can't just rush into things, especially things covered in spikes. I'm back. I think we're done here. Let's go. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. I wish I could provide better warnings about porcupines. They actually have a pointy end. I wish you didn't have to learn by doing. I know it's bothering you, but let's mush on. We'll make a camp at the next safe spot. On by. Should we camp? This looks pretty good. Food time. Chow down, pups. Mm, maybe we should eat. 
fire would be nice. Oh, I can't wait to feel the warmth on my face. Maybe we should eat. I'm ready to cook some food. Food time. Chow down, pups. <laughs> Maybe time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? All right. Get back on the trail? Let's get back out there. Fork in the road. Where to? Ha! I'm certain I read that owls are good omens. Or wait. I remember. Silent in flight. They only bring fright. Who they call out to find victims till light. Um. You know, we're actually doing pretty well. I mean, we're still alive. And we're getting closer to our new home. You know, just have to make it past some more trees, and snow, probably some more snow. And then we'll be there. You pups look like an incredible team. You even move as one. I am very impressed with your sled dog instincts. You pulled us faster than I ever could have imagined. And it's been really nice not seeing any other people. It's just us in the world. I didn't expect to talk out loud this much, but we're really doing this. We're, I, I mean, I, I'm becoming a musher, like a real one. I think Margot would be proud. I still can't believe she gave us her old cabin and, and gear. We're making progress. I should be there soon enough. Fork in the road. Where to? Gee! friend it's okay you can stay over there we don't mind mush mush ah! let go <sighs> okay it's just a scratch a scratch from a giant wolf mouth we can patch this up we know how to do this I think I just have to risk the bad luck. All right, let's mush on. I thought things were going to plan. I really did, but now... I'm not so sure. Wolves are following us around. This might be too much for us. But how do you know when something is actually for you? instincts have gotten us this far. Look at what we've already done. There's 
so many tree stumps over there. We don't have time for trees. Let's go. Let's take a break. Take a break, pups. We don't have anything to make a fire. That should be good enough. <sighs> Maybe we should eat. Might be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? All right, everyone feeling better? Get back on the trail? Let's be safe out there. Fork in the road, where to? see anything out there. What do you pups see? Is it over there? Whoa! You're not a ghost, right? I wonder how many of you there are. I'm not here to kill the only albino moose. You pups do okay? Let's get back out there. Set up camp to see. Uh, what was that? Chomper, was that you? Okay, I heard it again. Did you make that sound? Right then. Uh, so what does that mean exactly? Just like we planned it. Let's pack up what we can and get back out there. Thanks for waiting, pups. Some more food. Might be time to have a meal. So no bullets. This might be tough. Let's be safe out there. Let's rest. This looks pretty good. Maybe we should... Food time! Chow down, pups! Might be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? All right, everyone feeling better? Get back on the trail? All right, let's mush on. Fork in the road, or two. Something out there. Yep. 
We've got better things to do. Noodle, are you trying to bring it closer or keep it away? How close do you think that wolf is? Okay, okay. Um... You brought us out here, Noodle. I hope that wolf makes it. Thanks for waiting, pups. I think we're done here. Let's go. Let's look for a good spot to camp. Let's take a break. Take a break, pups. Maybe we should. Back on the trail? All right, let's mush on. Closer. So many tree stumps over there. I'd feel a lot more comfortable if it didn't just feel like people disappeared here. Well, there's an axe here. I am just going to uh, take this. rationalizing theft. But if I don't take it, someone else will, right? Well, should I try this out? Seems to be plenty of birch here. It's so much easier than ripping this off by hand. Looks like we're done here. Thanks for waiting, pups. We can start a fire at camp now. We'll be able to get warm. Let's be safe out there. I'm, uh, I'm feeling a little weak, pups. We're okay. We're all okay. I'll try to find more things we can eat. I need to keep an eye on all of us. But I suppose it is making me prepared. Nightmare reminded me to pack our axe to strip those birch trees. It's a good thing we have an overactive imagination. We know what we're up against. Well, we can imagine what we're up against. Huh, chomps. 